What up, you beautiful people? I'm David coming at you with all of Apple's new cases for that gorgeous new iPhone 11 Pro. So, let's start with the clear case. Now, I know Apple introduced this case last year, but they only introduced it for the XR line of phones. This year, they brought it to all of Apple's phones. You're gonna see the same quality. It's a durable plastic. Apple even claims that over time, this phone won't yellow. The buttons are internal, which is fine, but me personally, I like when the buttons are separate from the case. That way, it gives you more of a solid feedback. Nonetheless, it works. And let's be honest, the reason why you're getting this clear case is to show off that new gorgeous phone. Apple silicone case is hands down their most popular case. First thing you notice is that dropped logo, just as it is on the new iPhone. Now, I think the reason why that logo is dropped because in the future we should be seeing reverse wireless charging for the AirPods and that logo on the phone and case will signify where to place your AirPods. Moving on to the inside, you'll see it has a great microfiber interior. When putting the case on the phone, it feels great. It has that sense of security that, you know, if there is any dirt, it's not going to necessarily scratch the back of your phone. The buttons are different than the clear case and they are made out of plastic, but they feel great. Overall, I like this case. I will say sometimes sliding it in and out of my pocket can be a little cumbersome, but hey, at the end of the day, that's why you got this case. It's very grippy when you're one-handing it and you get a wide variety of colors and a few new colors like pine green and the clementine orange. Product red, super awesome. Part of the proceeds do go to fight AIDS in Africa. Apple's leather case has always been their premium go-to. Now, first thing, once again, you notice the drop logo, same great microfiber interior. You do notice the difference with the buttons. They're made out of this really nice polished aluminum, really matches the aesthetics of the iPhone. The leather also really nice. It is a bit slippery at first, but not to worry because as leather matures, it does become a little more grippy and that's mainly because of the oils in your finger. That also means that the case will change in color. I've noticed it simply gets darker in certain areas where you're gripping the phone, so keep that in mind. Black, you're not gonna have that problem because it's just gonna get darker. I've noticed the dark blue gets much darker. The green, expect the same thing to happen. Saddle brown, let's be honest, when you think of leather, this is what you think of. I think this ages the best. The way it develops the patina is just, it's beautiful. I've always saw this as a go-to and I'm pretty sure this is Apple's number one seller. I don't like the way this one matures over time. I think the edges just get a little too dark. That's the main reason why you'll see when they come out with the leather cases, they're more of a dark base versus like the silicone, which are more of like a light pastel color base. Speaking of light cases, goodness, Apple, I think this is just Apple's most exotic case they've created to date. It is bright yellow, looks like it belongs on a construction site. And I'm gonna be honest, my first thought when seeing this yellow case is, what, why? Like, what were they thinking? Until I got it and I actually played with it for a bit and put it on my phone. I mean, I know I got the green phone, which even more so, why would you wear the yellow one? But like I mentioned before, all you see is the cutout. So that didn't really bother much. And you know, sitting on the couch, I did notice, you know, when it's face up, black and yellow, baby, it looked like a Lambo. You know, at the end of the day, I do like it. Be prepared for a very bright color every time you look at it. Speaking of bright, I'm not sure how this one's gonna look a few months down the road. Let, let me know if you want me to write a review or do a review a few months down just to see how that case ages over time. Last, and I hate to say it, but my least favorite, the folio case from Apple. Really nice leather, same great aluminum buttons. However, you're obviously getting a place for your cards, money slash receipts. So that's nice. Another cool feature is when you put the case on, there's a magnet built into the flapping part that turns 
off and on your phone. So that's really nice. I do wish there was a way to clamp it from the back or the front. I do know over time it eventually flattens out, but I just think it's very awkward to hold in your hands. I get it. This case wasn't designed for me. And there are people out there, heck, I know someone me that loves this case and she wears it all the time. So that's the folio case. All right, guys, time for pricing and a brief recap. The clear case. I know I did some hating on it, but at the end of the day, it does its job in showing off your new phone. It's priced at $39, which I think is about $10 too high. Had they priced it at $29, I thought and think that that would have made a lot more sense. Since it is in the same price range as the silicone case, but not quite the build quality. The silicone case has a wide variety of colors, which I think make it very appealing to most, not to mention the grippy aspect of it. The leather case, very premium. I think it is the go-to case if you got the Pro Phone. It is priced at $49, which I think is somewhat reasonable considering the quality that it is. Let me know which case you guys ended up liking. And if you like this review or not, make sure to throw a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more reviews from me, don't be shy to hit that subscribe button. And throw a like down if you want me to review the Slick Wraps skin for the iPhone. I should be posting that next. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Ugly case. Oh, oh, oh. Never buy that case.